Hello friends, welcome to iExam B. As you might already know, Union Bank of India has released specialist officer post, one of which is manager and assistant manager forex officer post. In this video, we are going to discuss a very important topic from the aspect of this exam foreign currency accounts. So beginning with our lecture, what is a foreign currency? The term foreign currency has been defined under section 2M of the FEMA that is Foreign Exchange Management Act and it means any currency other than the Indian currency is called a foreign currency. So what is Indian currency? Section 2Q of the FEMA defines Indian currency and says currency which is expressed or drawn in Indian rupees but does not include special bank notes or special 1 rupee notes. Now comes the definition of foreign currency accounts. This is an account which is held or maintained in currency other than the currency of India or Nepal or Bhutan. Now how many types of foreign currency accounts are there that can be held in India? So there are various foreign currency accounts. The first one is exchange earners foreign currency account, resident foreign currency account, resident foreign currency domestic account, diamond dollar account scheme, and the last one is accounts by specified persons and who these specified persons are these include Indian agents of foreign shipping or airline companies, ship manning, crew managing agencies, project officers of foreign companies, organizers of international seminars, conferences etc, exporter with construction or turnkey project abroad, SEZ unit, Indian company receiving FDI and reinsurance and composite insurance brokers. So these are the specified persons which can open various foreign currency accounts in India. In this video, we will cover three important foreign currency accounts. We'll try to differentiate between these three accounts. These are exchange earner foreign currency account, resident foreign currency account and resident foreign currency domestic account. Now who can open these accounts? The exchange earner foreign currency account can be opened by exchange earners which can be both individual or companies. Resident foreign currency domestic account can only be opened by individuals and similarly resident foreign currency account can also be opened by individuals only. Can these accounts be held in joint form? Yes, these can be held jointly with eligible persons or with resident relative on former or survivor basis and what does this former or survivor basis means that means the relative joint account holder he cannot operate the account during the lifetime of the account holder now resident foreign currency domestic account can be held jointly with any person eligible to open the account and the resident foreign currency account can be held jointly in the similar manner as the EEFC account. What are these types of account? The EEFC, exchange earner foreign currency account can be only current account. Similarly, resident foreign currency domestic account again can be only current account and resident foreign currency account can be current or savings or term deposit. The EEFC account is a non-interest earning account. RFCD is non-interest earning and RFC resident foreign currency account is interest earning which is deregulated that means as decided by the authorized dealer bank. Now what are the permitted credits and debits from these accounts? To EEFC account we have 8 permitted credits. The first one is 100% of the foreign exchange which is received on account of export transactions. Second one is advanced remittance which is received by any exporter towards export of goods and services. Third is repayment of loans. So any loan that has been given to foreign importers, the repayment of that loan can be credited. The disinvestment proceeds on conversion of ADR and GDR can be credited. Professional earnings like director's consultancy, lecture fees, honorarium and similar other earnings received by a professional by rendering services in his individual capacity that can be credited. Next credit possible is interest earned on the funds held in the account. Next is recredit of unutilized foreign currency earlier withdrawn from the account. So any unutilized foreign currency can be recredited which was earlier withdrawn from the account. 
the last credit that is permitted in EFC account is payments received in foreign exchange by any Indian startup arising out of sales or exports made by the startup or its overseas subsidiaries. When we come to RFC domestic account, the first permitted credit is foreign exchange received as payment, service, gift, honorarium while on visit abroad or from a non-resident who is on a visit to India. Next credit is unspent foreign exchange acquired from the authorized dealer for any travel abroad. The third is gift from a close relative. Fourth one is earning through export of goods, services or royalty. Next is this investment proceeds on conversion of shares into ADR or GDR and the last permitted credit is foreign exchange received as earnings of LIC claims, maturities or surrendered value settled in forex from an Indian insurance company. When we talk about RFC, resident foreign currency account, what are the permitted credits? The first one is foreign exchange received by him as superannuation, other monetary benefits from his overseas employer. Next is foreign exchange realized on conversion of assets which are referred to in section 6.4 of the FEMA. The third one is gift inheritance received from a person referred to in section 6.4 of FEMA. Foreign exchange which is acquired before 8th July 1947 or any income arising on it held outside India with the RBI permission that can be credited to RFC account. Foreign exchange which is received as earnings of LIC claims, maturity, surrendered value, settled in forex from an Indian insurance company that can also be credited and the balances which was held by a resident Indian in NRE or FCNR accounts can be credited to RFC account on change in residential status. So when a person is returning back to India, the residential status may change from non-resident Indian to resident Indian and in that case is any balances which is held by the resident in NRE or FCNR account can be credited to RFC account. Now what are the permitted debits from these accounts? From the EEFC account, any permissible current or capital account transaction is allowed. The cost of goods purchased can be debited, custom duty can be debited or trade related loans and advances can be debited from EFC account. When we talk about RFC domestic account, these can be used for any permissible current or capital account transactions. And when we talk about RFC account, there is no restriction on utilization of funds in or outside India. So these are three important accounts that a resident Indian can open. These are foreign currency accounts which can be held in currency other than currency of Nepal, India and Bhutan. IXAMB provides you online course of Union Bank of India Manager or Assistant Manager for its Officer. In this course, we provide you with video lessons, study notes, section tests practice questions, full length practice test and daily life classes. These life classes have started from 1st of September. The various topics that will be covered on different days is clearly mentioned in the schedule on the screen. The classes will end on 5th of October 2021. So approximately in, the, in one month, the entire syllabus is planned to be covered at IXAMB. We have expert faculty for Forex. Mr. Shankar Nagarajan, he is an ex-manager RBI and has 30 years of experience in RBI across departments and he has more than 5 years of teaching experience in banking, trade finance and forex. So if you are interested in any form of guidance for this exam in your concept clarity, you can call on the number 920-552. 4028. You can also visit our website www.iexampi.com. All mock tests at iexampi.com are free. So you can attempt the mock test there. You can analyze your mock test. You can check out your strengths and weaknesses. And then you can strategize your preparation. iExampi makes all the government exams easy. At iExampi channel, you can find all the updated information with respect to upcoming notification, exam pattern of various exams so do subscribe to our exam B channel click the bell icon for all the updated government exam information thank you so much